of workers and crews are out trying to fix the water issues in the city of San Augustine after last week's storm, including one city officials battling even more battles at home. KLTV 7's Jer Jeremy Thomas explains. We're dealing with a water crisis right now. Well, I feel like I, I, I'm the one that's been here the longest. I know the system. I know the plants. I know what needs to happen to get us out of this crisis. Fixing the problem weighs heavy on San Augustine Water and Wastewater Superintendent Chris Anden on top of what he's dealing with personally. It's been a journey for over the last few months. Back in November, he, his wife, and several family members were diagnosed with COVID-19. On Thanksgiving Day, Anton says he was taken to a hospital as his condition worsened. The doctor said, we gave you all the plasma we can give you. We have gave you all the antibiotics we can give you, all the steroids we can give you. It's just up to good Lord right now. You know, you don't know if you're going to live or die. He spent 25 days in the ICU, isolated. But community members sent him their best wishes. That gave me hope that I would come out. And he did. Then late Tuesday afternoon, while coming home from work, he received more devastating news. My wife calls me. I'm about a mile from the house, and our, she says our house is on fire. Andon says his wife and daughter were home at the time, but thankfully made it out safely. The clothes that we had on was all we had left. I mean, we didn't have nothing. Once again, the community stepped in, sending food, clothes, money, prayers, and more to help. The compassion everybody's had, man, it's just, it's humbling. They just don't know how grateful we are. And despite it all, Andon is at work today, like he has been for weeks. Because this is where I feel like I need to be. I've got people depending on me to provide and help the city in the situation that they're in. All I can say is that he has the heart and he's working hard. Good Lord spared me twice. Spared my spared my wife a deal. So yeah. I'm grateful. And that was Jeremy Thomas reporting officials are still investigating what caused the fire. Anding says they did have insurance but the community support has been overwhelming.